There is one particular person in anime that is just notorious for being compared and put up against Goku and recently, I think I may have seen the greatest fan animation I've ever laid eyes on. Let your imagination run for a bit and let's travel to a time and a place where Goku may have just been a bit bored recently. Even after all of the strong opponents he's fought and let's not act like for a second Goku hasn't lost before, he still wants more. He gathers up all the Dragon Balls and summons Shinron to grant him any one wish. Long time no see, Goku says, as we check out an already legendary fan animation by Toilet One Animations. This one is an absolute banger and the community has been going pretty crazy over this battle, guys. The link to E1 Animations channel as well as the original video will be down below in the description, so please be sure to go give him a sub as Goku tells Shinron, it's been quite a while. I'm bored and Vegeta doesn't want to train together, he tells him. I need some exercise. I'd like to face the most powerful human on this planet. In this timeline, Goku may have just made a wish that sealed his fate, as the strongest on this planet isn't anyone he'd expect. So be sure to stick around to see the aftermath of Goku's secret wish to Shinron. As a ringing phone is answered, the person that picks it up is none other than our number one C rank hero himself, Saitama. I remember in the past there was a Saitama vs Vegeta fan manga that was being worked on and to see something like this being animated is just super exciting. The association has gotten in contact with Saitama and assigned him to a god level threat mission. Since Saitama is the closest hero, he's the only one that can take care of a threat like this. Although, when he asks what kind of threat this is exactly, he's told that they've detected a phenomenal source of energy that is potentially dangerous to humanity. Go and neutralize it. He'd go straight to an S rank hero if he completes this mission, so he heads there right away. This is One Punch Man vs Dragon Ball Z, Goku vs Saitama, again one of the best fan animations I've ever seen as we go back to where Shinron and Goku are, Shinron disappearing as the Dragon Ball scattered. In the middle of the wasteland, Goku awaits his opponent saying that he's looking forward to meeting him and wonders what they'll look like. I don't know bro, seems like the weirder looking the opponent, the stronger they kinda get. All of a sudden, something crash lands ahead of him as Goku says that it seems his opponent has arrived already. I feel like this is gonna be fun, he says. And if you are enjoying the video and think this is gonna be a blast as well, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss any more parts of this crazy fan animated series. Across from Goku, Saitama has appeared, asking just where this god level threat is. There doesn't seem to be anything here, he says. Seems they've made fun of me. Goku thanks him for coming, saying that he was looking for a strong opponent to pass the time with. So Saitama really has no idea what Goku's talking about, but assumes that maybe if he defeats this guy, then he could finally achieve that S ranking as a hero. I can feel a great strength inside of him, Goku says. Better be on my guard. Goku readies himself, ascending straight to Super Saiyan as Saitama starts the battle charging at Goku. The two clash creating a huge shockwave that blasts the crater in the ground. Saitama's first punch completely stuns Goku and blows his shirt off. Like, what a powerful punch, Goku thinks to himself. I've never taken a hit as hard as that one. Saitama hit Goku so hard that it honestly looked like his life flashed before his eyes. But when Goku goes back on the counterattack, his first one misses, but his second punch is a direct hit. Saitama returns the favor, though completely shrugging off Goku's attack, but the dynamic of this fight changes when Goku uses a key blast and hits Saitama at point blank with it. As the explosion goes off and the smoke engulfs the battlefield, both Saitama and Goku ascend to the sky and clash again. When Goku lands his next punch on Saitama though, he's confused. This guy is unbothered and unharmed by all of his attacks so far. Who is this guy he has to be thinking to himself? My punch didn't do anything to him. Is this guy really a human? Saitama grabs Goku's arm and sends him soaring with another punch of his own. He chases Goku through the sky and hits him again, but when Goku catches himself, he fires a massive blast. Saitama skates over Goku's beam and delivers the final punch that crushes Goku and plants him into the ground where he lies dead still. The battle seems to be somewhat over as Saitama walks off wondering if that guy was really a god level threat. All of a sudden, we see Goku with his arms over his face telling Saitama that it's not over yet. Now, 
he's transformed again as Super Saiyan Blue Goku erupts from the crater. Saitama looks confused as to why his hair color changed again, but now we really get to see Goku's true power against the One Punch Man. Goku never assumed he'd have to go Super Saiyan Blue to deal with a human, but he's proved to be a lot more ridiculous than imagined. When round 2 starts, Goku hits Saitama in the side of the head with a knee, and this is that animation I was talking about. This is just crazy, the impact, the smoothness, everything. When that knee connects, it's at this point that Saitama says that he's not the same guy anymore. He's a lot different in this form. Goku drops an elbow on him and then punts Saitama across the battlefield, pinning him in a pillar. Goku flies to him and punches him straight through that pillar and then flies after the follow up with a flurry of punches. Now this is more like the clash I was expecting to see between these two, no matter how ridiculous the fight may be, Goku was getting straight up washed before. Goku appears to think that the fight is over as he stands nearby the crater but all of a sudden, Saitama's cape begins flowing in the wind behind him as he reappears. I finally found a worthy opponent, he says. Every cell in my body is excited. Goku is stunned at how this human just moved so fast that he never even saw it coming. Him, a Saiyan. Saitama is fired up now and his next punch sends Goku ripping across the ocean with Saitama following him. He decks Goku with a punch, but Goku counterattacks and fires a Kamehameha at him. Now, I don't think I could believe this was one punch, man, if Saitama did not do what he does next, if that is punched straight through Goku's Kamehameha. This time, however, when Goku appears next to Saitama, we see a glimmer of something that should be considered a warning to Saitama, as his hair changes to silver and then quickly fades back. The absolute brawl these two are having right now is off the charts, with each of these guys thinking they bested the other with a single attack. Goku slings Saitama underwater where their fight continues. At one point, Goku even grabs hold of a whale and attacks Saitama with it. The next time these two clash, the water is completely lifted from the floor. No matter what I do, he resists all my attacks, Goku says. I can't even do it in my Super Saiyan Blue form. Goku powers up even more this time as his aura erupts, but as Saitama awaits his final form, Goku goes Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken. This is when Saitama gets another call on the phone, and when he answers, it's Genos. Hey, this is Genos. How are you? The voice on the line says. Oh, Genos, Saitama says, still kind of disregarding Goku powering up to his maximum right now. I'm kind of in the middle of a fight right now. What did you want? What is this guy doing? Goku wonders. Saitama returns to his phone call with Genos, who tells him that he won't believe what he just saw. The meat. Saitama, the meat is on sale until this evening. We have to hurry before the store closes, Geno says. Am I dreaming right now, Goku thinks to himself? Or is he talking to somebody on the phone? He's ignoring me completely. Oh, that's good news, Geno, Saitama says, returning to his phone call. I'm facing an opponent who constantly just changes his hair color, but I should be at the store soon. Goku doesn't take too kindly to Saitama talking on the phone during their battle, so he attacks him again, kneeing him in the gut. This time, Goku finally shows an upper hand in this battle for the first time, driving Saitama all over the waterfront and through the air. Saitama raises the phone back to his ear and tells Genos that he'll have to call him back. Goku is still pretty shocked at this guy's resolve still, but he prepares another key blast to the face blowing him away. Now this battle is looking a lot more intense with both parties fully focused on the fight at hand. Saitama actually looks like a really fun training partner to push Goku to limits unknown as these two look right at home fighting each other and I know Goku has to be loving. When they clash punches the next time, the struggle between the two becomes extremely aggressive, the shockwave leveling the wasteland. This guy is really too strong, Goku admits. I can't resist much longer. Saitama eventually wins out on the clash, but Goku retaliates with the key wave at point blank again this time looking to completely obliterate his opponent. When the smoke clears up, Saitama is still standing yet again, and Goku is all out of answers this time, unable to believe his own eyes that this guy withstood all of that. With the Kaioken having exhausted all of his strength, Goku is on the brink of collapsing himself, and all Saitama has to say now is that he's angry. With just the clinch of a single fist, Saitama creates a shockwave that shatters boulders nearby, and when he takes off to attack Goku this time, 
no pun intended, not a single punch is held back. He completely and utterly obliterates Goku with like a 1000 punch combo, sending him flying backwards unconscious after that just brutal beating. After that infinite combo, Goku just lies on the ground lifeless as Saitama stands over him frowning. Angry as hell that Goku almost made him late to the store, but he's been beaten now, it seems. When he turns around and walks off, however, this is when Goku begins to move again, stopping Saitama in his tracks. Wait, Goku pleads, getting back to his feet. It's not over yet. Don't be so quick to claim a victory. Now it's Saitama's turn to be surprised as he tries to understand just how Goku can even stand after all of that. This is the first time anyone has resisted that many of my blows, he says, as he turns back around to Goku. I gotta admit, Goku says, you hit harder than me, but I won't give up. I gotta win this fight. Saitama gets infuriated now as Goku just refuses to accept defeat. He throws another punch, this time with all of his might that he can muster behind it, and this punch absolutely decks the sh** out of Goku. And when I say decked, I don't know how Goku's head is still on his shoulders after that one. No matter how strong you are, you can't win, Saitama tells him. You fought well, but this time, you won't get up. Just what the hell is this guy? Saitama begins to take his leave again, but he almost loses his mind as he turns around and Goku is back on his feet again. He can't believe his eyes, demanding to know how Goku got up again. He tries to attack him once more, but this time, something is a lot different. This time, his punch is easily blocked, as a core change has happened within Goku. As we cut back to Goku, Ultra Instinct has finally been born once again, after Goku has been pushed to the absolute brink and had his very will tested in this battle. Goku uses his now superior speed and zips through Saitama with only a single cut on the cheek being shown in real time as the final and true battle of Goku versus Saitama begins. 